guys i am back with another video or as you guys want to say story time the title of this story time would be um that i was diagnosed with lupus some of you guys are aware of it some of you guys don't know what it is um for the people that don't know what it is all you have to do is google it and it will tell you a little bit about lupus the side effects um it would make it would basically give you a rundown of what lupus is now i'm doing story time on my lupus how i got it when i got it um you know all the other good and bad stuff about having lupus um before we get into the video i don't have a booger in my nose so i know from the video that i'm doing right now i can see it but i keep switching it around and it's it just keeps slipping back down but this is my nose ring fyi so don't think that it's oh she has a booger in her nose why she's doing story time i wonder if she knows it yes i am aware of it and it's right there but um anywho one morning um it was me and my sisters and them and we were getting everybody together and i just woke up out of the blue with dark stuff on my face like dark patches like like this kind of stuff if you could see it um besides my acne it's like a dark spot or it's like right here you can like really see if you really see that dark spot i woke up with those all over my face and um i was like man what is this and then me and my sister, we couldn't figure it out. And she was like, man, I don't know. And I was like, well, I don't know. And, you know, I could tell you my day on like normal because I was just like, I can't figure it out. I don't know what it is. My sister didn't know what it was. So we continued our, our day and I went and um, braided my sister friend's hair for him. And it was kind of funny at the time or whatever because everybody was like, oh, who beat your sister up or da 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 And she was like, no, nobody. <laughs> you know, we were trying to explain to them, nobody. I didn't get into a fight. Nobody beat me up. It was just, at the time, as um, the ER said, butterfly rashes. I didn't know, you know, at the time. You know, we didn't know at the time what it was. We couldn't tell people what it was because we didn't know what it was. So then... Later on that day or whatever, I think um, I woke up or something. I'm trying to, I can't remember all the parts um, to it because it happened a while back. And then um, my memory somewhat hasn't been the greatest. But anywho, um, we, um, I think it was like the next day or something like that. And I'm like, man, this stuff is not getting off my face. And it was kind of eerie. It was kind of irritated. Like, I'm just like, I just want this to go away. And I was like, man, I'm going to go to the doctor because I I was like, I can't go around here walking like this, uh, going around, you know, looking like what I'm looking like or whatever. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. So I asked my sister, I was like, Hey, do you mind going to the ER with me and stuff like that? And, um, I forgot at the time, um, I don't think she was, um, wait, was she there with me or? No, she did come with me. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. She she was there. Me and her went to the ER. And that's when they were um telling me about all this stuff or whatever and stuff like that. And saying my levels was low and all this other stuff. And, of course, my sister being the joker that she is, she had me cracking up through the whole thing. And at first, she was like, well, what is that? And what is this? And what is that? I mean, my sister asks a lot of questions. You might as well call her being the nosy person. But, hey, that's what you have a sister for because I don't really ask questions like she asks questions. So, I mean, I'm kind of thankful to have her there because if she wasn't there, I would have just been like, oh, okay. Well, let me go and see this doctor that you guys are referring me to. But, anywho, um, I remember that day because I was so scared. Like, they put IVs in me. They were doing this to me. And they were coming back with, like, this and this. And we were like, what? And when they told me that I had lupus, I'm like, what is that? And they was like, it's a disease. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me back, let me back it up, back it up. 
they came in the room before they told me I had lupus. They told me I had a disease. And I was like, what? And the first thing I was looking like, oh no, my boyfriend is going to get jacked up. Cause I know I ain't been messing around. <laughs> and I remember I made the doctors and them chuckle because they was like, oh no, 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 not that disease, not that disease. And they was like, well, have you ever heard of lupus? And I was like, oh, and I'm like, no, what is that? <laughs> and then they were sitting there trying to explain it to us, but they was like, you know what? This is what we think this is, but we want you to go and see a rheumatology because we don't want to diagnose you with something and it's not that. So then, um, after, after, um, I got done with, um, <clears throat> the ER or whatever, I set my appointment up for rheumatology. Well, my sister, she couldn't, um, take off of work or whatever or nothing like that. So my, um, I was telling my family about it, um, about what the ER diagnosed me with and they wanted me to see a rheumatology. Um, I asked if my brother could come because I was really nervous. I didn't know about it. My, my brother's, um, wife knew about, um, knew about it and stuff. And, they were like, well, this and this and that. And, you know, I was just hearing awful things about lupus and stuff like that. And I was just crying like, well, I don't want this to happen to me. I don't want to die. I don't want to do this and this and this and this and that. And I was just like, you know, I just, I never, nobody never told me the good thing about lupus. And I mean, it's not really a good thing about lupus, but were um in there they called me to the back room um my brother got there kind of late but he he finally got there and but before he got there we were in the room they were telling me about it they were giving me pamphlets and they was like man we're so um glad that you um went into the er because my levels like i was walking y'all i was feeling good i mean i might have got tired now and then but i was feeling good i didn't I, all that stuff they were telling me, I'm looking at them like they were crazy because I'm like, okay, if I'm walking around and I'm feeling good, you guys are telling me, oh, this is this, this is low and all this other um stuff or whatever is low in your body and da, da, da. They were scaring me more than um what other people was telling me. So I'm like, well, damn, if I have all this um going on in my body, then why am I walking around like everything is golden or whatever and they was like we don't know but we need to do this and this and this and this and that and i'm just like hold on ain't nobody doing nothing to me until i figure out what the hell is going on because at that point i mean besides what other people was telling me and then i come in here and y'all telling me this and this and that i started getting scared I was nervous. I was already crying, panicking. And then my brother came in there and he was like, well, you know, he came in there and he asked um, questions and stuff. And, you know, they answered some of the questions for him and stuff like that. And the other doctor, I kind of liked her because when she came in there, besides that other dude coming in there scaring the heck out of me, um, she came in there and she was like, you know what? If we get your levels up and we get everything going and stuff, you should be just fine, Miss Status. Um, but for right now, we need to get your levels up. We need to get them where they need to be at because right now, there is not looking good and stuff like that. And we just want to make sure you're good. I said, oh, okay, you know, and stuff like that. At the time, did I get a um second opinion? I'm going to be honest no, I did not get a second opinion at the time because I was like, um, I'm in good hands, you know, and of my knowledge, I can't speak for other people. So I am saying this, um, out loud of my knowledge, Hennepin County has never done me wrong. So this is just my opinion. I can't speak for other people, but in my opinion, Hennepin County has never done me wrong and ain't nothing went wrong. So I did not get a second opinion at the time. I just went through the procedures that they gave me and I followed up. I made sure I kept up with all my appointments and stuff like that. I would say um, after they got the ball rolling, I don't know if it was just the medicine getting used to my body or what, but I would say two or three weeks later, 
I couldn't see out my eyes. I could, well, let me rephrase that. I could see, but when the sunlight um, hit my eyes, it was painful and it hurt it. I didn't really know what was going on. So once again, I'm back in the ER trying to explain to these people like, I don't know what's going on. I just woke up, went outside and this bright light hit me and I can't see nothing. And I had to, um, my sister was like, here, well, just put on these glasses. Because once again, I was with my sister. She was like, here, try putting on these glasses or maybe. Yeah, the glasses helped a little bit. But when it first started, it was just like, wow, it hurts. It, it just hurt it so bad. I was crying. And I forgot. I think the doctor said I had... I know. I think I never or something, something he said that was going on with my eyes and they gave me some drops to help dilate my eyes and stuff and to help them, um, focus. And then they gave me a prescription for some pregnazone. It was pregnazone drops and I put them in my eye. It was just to help with the pain and stuff. And, um, they told me to follow up with my doctor as soon as possible. So... I called um, the clinic or whatever and set up another appointment. And my doctor, I know they don't always want you to go to the ER. They want you to try to fight it out and call them right away to get in with them right away. But I'm a person that if I'm in pain and you guys are not open or you guys don't have no open schedule, I'm taking my butt to the ER because somebody needs to help me with my pain. I'm not going to be sitting there crying all day. Or nothing like this. I need help with my pain. So yeah, I am going to the ER if I can't get in with my doctor. But um, after that, um, I went back and seen my doctor again. And um, they checked my eyes and stuff or whatever. And I'm trying to think about what else happened. Um, they gave me some more um medicine and stuff and then they up they um updated um not updated but they gave me stronger um pills and stuff and they wanted to um do stuff. It was this pill called Cell Cell. I couldn't handle Cell Cell worth of nothing. Cell Cell it just wouldn't do right with my body. I took it with food and it still was hurting. Anything that I did, it hurt it. So then they took me um, off cell cell. But before, um, let's rewind it again. Before they took me off of cell cell, um, they try to lower their dose. But that still, it just still something that it does not help my body. So they took me off. I think around that time when they took me off, another problem occurred. Not only was I having eye issues at the time, I started having kidney problems. I didn't really have to um, do any surgeries or anything like that with the um, with the kidneys. Um, they did try, um, I forgot, uh, what is that thing called? Um, I can't remember it right now, but if I do, um, I'll get back to it. But I was doing infusions. And once again, shout out to my sister. She was there with me through the whole process. It's, it has something to do with, um, they gave me something for, um, I think it was cancer. Um, something that had that cancer stuff in it. I don't, I don't really know, but I know that, um, I took some of that. I know that I took some of that or whatever. And um <clears throat> I was doing that for a couple of weeks or whatever at a um time. I wasn't doing it every day. I think it was um every day out of the week, but I did that. <clears throat> I did that and it seemed to once I um 